What's up everybody? Welcome back and we have another tutorial for you this week where we're going to be showing you how to exclude page and post results in Divi search or WordPress search. So the first thing we want to do is it's really simple. We're going to add a new plugin to WordPress and what we're looking for if you go over to plugins and add new we're going to search over here for search exclude and we're looking for the plugin called search exclude by Roman Pronsky I hope I said that correct so we hit install now it's a very easy lightweight plugin we're going to activate and that's pretty much it. So if we go into our posts, this works with both posts and pages. So let's do the hello world. We're going to edit. This plugin adds a new option for you. So down here at the bottom, if you're using Gutenberg, you can exclude from search results. So to show you that it works, so we're not going to check this just yet. But we're going to go and view the post. And if we search, so we got hello world here, right? All is normal. Let's go back in. We're going to edit the post. And instead of leaving it unchecked, we're going to check exclude from search results. We've updated. We're going to go back to the post. And let's type hello again. This time, no search results are found, which is exactly what we're looking for. So this works for really well for custom post types, you know, different things that you want to do. Um, it can also be used for pages. So we've done a demo that you might have seen before, how to build a clean blog grid. Um, if you haven't seen it, you can go to keeganlinearmedia.com and you can find that in our blogs and tutorials. So this page, which looks a little something like this. We would want to be able to see it, right? You'd want to be able to find it. So if we searched clean blog, you're going to find it. And we didn't set, you know, a featured image, nothing here, but that's okay. So if we wanted to exclude it from the search results, it works the exact same way in the pages. So we've updated that page, go back to search results refresh and there's no results for that same clean blog search that we did and if we were to go back uncheck it so that it's actually included in search results update the page jump back and refresh now the blog post is here in the search results again and we're good to go so it's pretty cool. It's a simple plugin. It's very lightweight and it's really, it's really usable. I, I use it in, on our site and um, I think it's just, there will always be a situation where there are things that you want to exclude from search results, you know, something that you're creating. So this is the perfect lightweight option and it just, it just works. So I hope this has been beneficial to you. We'd love to get your comments below, whether you're on YouTube or whether you're watching this on keeganlinearmedia.com. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And we'd love to get a link to your website so we can check it out and see if you're implementing it or how you're implementing it. Um, if you haven't taken a listen and you're you're big into audio, we've got a new podcast. It's called Divi Addicts. Go to diviaddicts.com. It'll bring you to the archives. We'd love to get your feedback on that as well. Subscribe, check us out, and come back and get all the latest content each week every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day you want to come by, it'll be there. So we appreciate you. We hope you have an awesome week and we'll see you in the next one.